How are we all doing? Hope everyone's keeping well. So, in the last video, I had um, a very sad G8 on the bench. So, I spent an hour or two messing around with it earlier on here, and I decided to take, box it up and take it off the bench for now. Because it was getting nowhere with it. And um, there's a, I think there's multiple falls with it, to be honest with you. It's going to be a, a hard one to get going. I don't even want to get it going. But, it's safe for now anyway. I have it down here on the ground. It's only moderately in my way, so we'll do something with it at a later stage. Just haven't got the stamina to, to be getting into it, and I don't want it. And so, anyway, it'll be alright for now. We'll come back to it. We will, I promise. I say that a lot, but we will come back to it. Might get someone to give me a hand with it. Um, tonight, I'm going to put something together, I hope. Um, we ordered this a long time ago, and with the current thing that's going on at the minute, it only arrived uh, two weeks ago. I think I ordered it four months ago. And these have been popping up around the place for a while. They're um, Chinese AM transmitter kit. I wanted to see how crap it is. And... Uh, I mean, I don't mean how good it is, I mean how crap it is, because I believe they're not great. But sure, we'll see. We'll stick it together, it'll kill half an hour for me, and um, what can we do? We'll see if it works or not. There's the GA. To all you GA fanboys out there, she's there, she's safe. She'll be alright for a while. So, to the matter in hand, here we have... Light on the same. Nice fibre last board. All the bits and pieces, we hope. And a instruction manual. Assembly instructions for experimental AM transmitter version 2020. Understand principle of high frequency oscillation. Understand principle of high frequency signal amplification. Understand the modulation principle AM transmitter. Uh, and it goes on, parts list, diagram, oh. um. board location for stuff, a lot of stuff in Chinese. Then they have it in English here again, I think. And uh, commissioning method of parts, blah 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 blah. Let's see all this. Whatever. Right, get the iron on and uh, we'll start sticking it together. It's all nicely packaged and what have you, so in a good strong Ziploc bag. Oh, I'll just empty it out onto the bench. So, we've all the bits and pieces here. I'm not going to put you to the strain of watching me stick this together. I'm going to pause the camera and start sticking it together. And uh, I'll let you in at various stages. But um, I do think it would be a bit of an ass to sit there and watch me sticking this together for the next hour or whatever. So um, you'll see me in a few minutes. Okay, so I'm back to this. So what was a couple of minutes was um, probably about a week. I just came out when I got a few minutes here and there. So I stuck a few more things on the board. I eventually got it together. It was very straightforward. I had no problems with it. Um, we were missing one resistor. That's all we were missing out of the kit. One resistor. A 12 ohm resistor. I stuck a 10 ohm in. No problem. And we got a few extra parts here. We got um, seven extra resistors and two extra caps. But well, I had no problem uh, putting them together. Um, the markings were okay in the resistors. A little bit hard to see on some of them, but alright. And of course, all the values are marked on the board. So it's just a matter of populating the board and soldering it up. Um, and it's handy that the toroids are all pre-wound for you. Not something I'm too keen on is winding toroids. I mean, they'd rather stick pins in my eyes. Um, so I'm happy enough. I mean, it's a tenner. You know what I mean? So... You get what you pay for here. If it was a Velman kit for a hundred quid and I was missing bits, you know, fair enough if you want to complain, but I think you're doing okay with this. Um, 
put a 50 ohm resistor across the output just to keep things nice and happy um so it's saying 50 ohm so a couple of foot of wire off that that's giving me a you know 10 foot range which is uh, more than enough for what i need it's picking up a bit of mains home but if this i'm gonna put this in a die cast box nice heavy die cast box so it'll stop hand capacitance issues with the oscillator and should keep things nice and stable and keep mains home out uh, when it's aired and uh, i'll just bring out the uh, input level control um out to a pot i won't be adjusting the frequency or anything so i won't need access to to those to the, the vc and we should be good to go then a um, bit of heating compound on the output heatsink as well so i'm quite happy with it actually i'm quite happy with it it is what it is you know it's a tenner what do you want so yeah and it's handy as i say it's handy that the toroids are pretty well so you don't have to mess around with them so we'll have a listen to it anyway and um I've just got three foot of wire here as i say giving me about 10 foot range which is more than sufficient Move them bits over so we don't get anything shorted um We'll play a little bit of music here. I'll turn on my little radio. This is a Loud Runner by Bow Diddy. Now we can overload it easy enough and make it uh, the start, but um, my Wi-Fi is struggling to get out to the shed here today to be playing music. You know, you know if you go crazy with it. Yeah, we could set this up with an oscilloscope and all that kind of jazz, but um, I'm not going to bother doing any of that. And it sounds good, it's good. Um, so I'm going to stick this in the die cast box. I'm going to sell it for 17, 15, uh, 75 kilohertz, which is a clear channel around here. And um, we should be good to go. Quite happy with it for the tanner. So no complaints at this end. So that's the little AM transmitter anyway. Well, they're about a tenner, they're on eBay, they're on AliExpress and a few other different things. So, I think it's um, well worth the value. Alright, that's a quick one on that. So, the G8 is still sitting here on its side, it's safe enough for a few weeks. We're not going to do anything with it. We'll leave it alone. Ultimately, ultimately it will be getting broke up, but um, we're going to see if we can get it going. I might uh, enlist a little bit of help with it actually. So um, we'll, we'll keep tuned on that. So um, thanks for watching and I'll catch you all again soon. Take care. Good luck for now.